Hello everyone. I wanted to take a moment to introduce myself and put a picture with my face if you have never seen me. My name is Heidi DeSoda and I work here at DC as a freshman advisor for the nursing students in the 121 program and also as nursing faculty in the RN to BSN online completion program. I will be teaching four of your eight online courses while you are completing your BSN degree. My email and phone number are provided here and I am also in the office three days per week, normally on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays as I also teach clinical in the hospitals on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So today I want to show you how to get around Moodle a little bit as this is our online learning management system here at DC. First, the best browser to use is Google Chrome. So we'll get onto Moodle using that. So as soon as you get Google Chrome up, you just need to go to your Defiance. That's www.defiance.edu. When you get to defiance.edu, you will want to click on the jacket links and then onto Moodle. Here you will need to log into Moodle by putting in your username and password. And this is the same as logging onto my DC. Once you're on to Moodle, you'll come to this home screen and you'll see your classes that you're signed up for for this semester. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on Nursing 400 or Nursing Transitions with me as your instructor. When you get on, you'll be able to see pretty much the whole course, week one through eight. Um, I put the entire eight weeks so you are able to scroll down and see all the materials and assignments for all eight weeks in my courses. So I'll take the opportunity today to briefly walk you through how all of our courses will look. Cheryl and I both use the same shell to create the courses. So the courses look very similar to not confuse anyone and let you work with ease and less confusion. To start at the top, you will see a little welcome. Then you will find the Defiance College Verification of Credit Hour Policy right here. Please come back to this later and look through it as it will explain how much time you should be taking for your online courses. According to however many credit hours the course is, this course it's three credit hours. Next will be the course description right here. Um, and then the course syllabus, the faculty bio, and at a glance course schedule, which is your weekly schedule. So these all have links and they are a Word document to open. Um, I do suggest that you always print off your syllabus and the weekly course schedule to help keep you on track and for your uh, personal reference. Okay, so if we scroll up, <coughs> Next, you will see the student compliance statements, so all of these right here. As a Higher Learning Commission requirement, you will need to click on each of these statements, read through them, and then at the bottom, there will be a little circle for you to click on um, to state that you have read and understand the statement. So along with these statements, if you go down here a little bit, there's also three nursing online student policies for you to review and sign. So there are a total of seven between the Higher Learning Commission statements and the nursing online statements. So as you are done with those and you have read through each of them and that you have clicked that you have understood it, you do not need to do anything like print them off. It will be saved automatically. I will print them off and they will automatically go into your personal file. Okay, so if we scroll back up here a little bit, I want to point out this section here that says student resource support. There are links to support here at the college. So these, the library, career development, counseling services. Um, please take a few minutes when you get a chance to click on those and see what is available to you free here as a DC student. I will not go into detail as that will be in another section of your orientation later on. Then next are announcements in which I will post an announcement at the beginning of each week and then also as needed. Uh, the next 
forum icon is for any of you to post any questions. So this Ask the Professor and Classmates, you can click on that. It's like a forum chat. Um, I will see anything posted there, and so will your classmates. So you can post there anytime that you have a question for me or your um, classmates to answer. The next will be a folder, which is not on here right now as I'm doing this, um, but you will next see a folder above this one that will be your orientation links for all of your orientation things. Um, those will be available every single course so that you can go back and reference them as needed. Again, right now it's not on here, but it will be when you start watching this. The next folder is your online nursing student resource folder. I'm going to just click on it so you can see here. You have a whole lot of resources in this folder. Uh, here, this first one is 24 hour support for Moodle. It has a Moodle website and Sharon Wimkin's number if you were having problems at home getting onto Moodle or doing anything on Moodle. Um, here's some confidentiality agreements. Um, all of our nursing policies are here, Moodle images, um, and then a lot of stuff we'll, that we may reference later on and have you look at it. Um, task, task stream support, uh, a lot of things on how to um, step by step things that you may want to reference or go back and kind of see how to do those things. So I also want to point out here to get back, always just use the back arrow if you want to go back to the previous page. And then finally, there is a folder right here that just has the rubrics for this course only. But again, for every course, this will all pretty much look the same. So you'll have the rubrics for each and every one of my courses, um, just specifically for that course. Okay, so as you scroll down, you will see that everything is broken up into weeks. Of course, all of our courses are eight weeks, so you'll see here week one, and you can go right on down to week eight and see all assignments and things like that. So we'll go back here to week one so I can introduce you to the normal icons that you will see in the courses. This first one is a chat or a forum icon. So your first week in Nursing 400, you'll have a little, little introduction that you'll post of yourself. So basically, when you click on here, it will give you the ability to post your response. And then I will be able to see it, and so will all of your classmates in the course. And they will have the ability to read and also post a response. So you'll be doing that quite often. This next icon right here is an assignment icon. So mostly you will be posting assignments and task stream because that's how we grade, but that's another uh, module that you will be watching for orientation on how to post your assignments and task stream. But so this is pretty much, if you click on it, it will tell you what to do and things like that. It serves mostly as a reminder for an assignment that you have due for that week. But again, you will be posting mostly in task stream for assignments like that. This next icon that you will see is the folder icon. This specific one has um, different Word documents. This has all your PowerPoints for week one. I traditionally will post every single PowerPoint for all the chapters and I'll break them up into the week's content. Um, this does not replace your reading, of course. However, for visual learners, I feel the need to post PowerPoints as it sums up your chapters and also helps that visual learner um, kind of summarize and see things instead of having to read because some of us just aren't great readers. So it is a supplement to your learning. So these are the three icons that you will mostly see in all of your courses, so become familiar with those. So over to the left of the page, we'll scroll back up and I will show you there is a grade book over here. So if you click on the grade book, you can see all of the assignments that you will be getting points for in this course and see how many points they are for. All of our courses will total to 100 points. So each and every course that you take here in the nursing program will equal 100 points. Um, it just keeps it simple for you. We have done that as, you know, just to keep it simple for us and also to keep it simple for you. If you click on Greater Report, 
you will be able to see just your grades, of course. So if you scroll over, you will see each and every point that you get for each assignment as I put them in. I will point out that you will get feedback and task stream as well as you are putting things in there and I grade them. You will get an email to say that you have feedback from me and you will be able to log on, see the feedback, open up the documents, um, and also see how many points that you get for those. As I go back, I'll push the back arrow again. I'm going to go back twice. I want to go back to the home page. I want to point out a couple more things on this page. So as you scroll back up, over here to the right of every single one of your Moodle pages will be some DC academic resources. So remember, there is always research help here. You can click it to access the library. Um, if you need writing help, you can click on this link and sign up for a writing tutor. Remember, these are free to you as a DC student, so use them as necessary. Under that is a Grammarly account. So Grammarly will help you with grammar, punctuation, etc. During the first week of this course, I will require you to set up an account and submit an assignment to Grammarly. After that, you can choose to submit if you would like, if you need the help. Um, if not, you don't have to use it. The last thing here is Academic Writer. This will help you with APA formatting um, of your references and in-text citations and such. So if you need APA help, please, please, please create an account and use it as needed. It is free. We do also give you the link to Purdue OWL. It's on um, our student resource folder and it's also on the front of every single syllabus. The APA Purdue OWL website is what we use for grading. APA is worth points in nearly every single assignment in this program, so please use the help as needed. Cheryl and I are both very good at giving you feedback on APA every week, so please open up and look at all of your feedback on your assignments. Um, as we expect improvement with APA throughout the courses because we give you feedback and there are those free resources out there. If you choose to go on to grad school, APA will be very, very important to you. So we do hold APA at a very high standard here. So use this resources um, as needed, please. Okay, so again, I just wanted to remind you that I open up all week so that you can work ahead if you would like. I know all of you work and like to get work done on your days that you have off, and I totally respect that. So before I end here, I just want to remind you to please review your syllabus. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, all of our syllabi are very similar, so not to confuse you as a student and to keep both you and Cheryl and I on the same page. Lastly, I just want to point out to get back to your dashboard to see all the courses you are currently enrolled in. You just go right back to the dashboard here and it will take you back to all of your online courses. So thank you all for listening and please let me know if I can be of any assistance in answering your questions. We are here for each of our students and we want you to be able to go through the online courses with ease. So with that being said, please do not spend more than 10 minutes trying to figure out how to download something or open something or post something here on Moodle. We are here to support you and your learning, so please contact one of us if you are having problems with anything online. That also goes for Task Stream. To sign out, you would just go over here to the right of the page on this down arrow beside your picture and you are more than welcome to download a picture here but you go to log out and then you will be totally logged out of Moodle so I look forward to a great semester with each of you and this is the end of this portion of your online orientation